So I just showed you exactly how things work when they go smoothly. So I hope that that was your, the case for you and you know your pages are merged and you're on your way. However, you can get kind of frustrated because you might not see that merge duplicate pages link that you want to see. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to make that link appear. Now the first thing you need to make sure, is, as I told you earlier, is that you need to be an admin on both of the pages that you want to merge. So let's find a page of one of our clients here that we need to merge. And let's type in R. Stewart uh, Winery. And here you'll see this places page that has no icon, 11 people like this, 19 were here, this looks pretty fishy. So let's take a look at it. And again, you're going to want to do this for your business to see if there's any of these things out there. And so here's a page that we would want to take control of so that we could merge it into our current page and get the, you know, the 11 likes and the 19 check-ins into that page and get rid of this page so we you know, end the confusion. So how do you go ahead and claim it so that you can be an admin on it so that you can then control it? Come right up here to the gearbox icon and click the Is This Your Business? You're going to want to go ahead and say that you are the official representative. Click Continue. So go ahead and fill out all this information that it's requesting and then I'm going to show you something that's actually new and um, can confuse you a little bit. So once this information's uh, filled out, here we go, go ahead and click continue and you're going to get this nice little note saying, hey, you're an admin now of this page. Okay, great. So I'm an admin of it, now I'm going to be able to merge it. Well, not exactly because you actually haven't claimed it yet. Facebook is now allowing you, if you are an admin of other pages that have similar names, to go ahead and you kind of become an instant admin of this page, um, which is confusing because you think that's all you need to do. But actually, you still need to do this claim page here. So click claim page. And here is step three where you actually have to verify with Facebook that this page is yours. Um, and you can either do an email or documentation. Email is easier and basically Facebook knows all the email addresses that you have associated with your personal Facebook account and if one of them is the official you know, uh, domain name uh, email of your business, for example, um, in this case I would want to pull down, I don't have it here, but uh, jeremy at rstewartandco.com, then that's a verification that I have an official domain email for that business. The other way to do it is to simply send some documentation to Facebook, which is either basically you know, snapping a picture of any of these things which prove that you are the owner or representative of the business. Not a big deal either way. Uh, once you actually claim the page, it's going to take up to a week for the Facebook people to verify that page. And that's pretty much what you need to have happen in order to get that link. Um, so let me show you. I'm just going to cancel this right now. You want to go ahead and, and finish this up uh, however you want to do it. But let me show you. I'm going to refresh this page because remember, Facebook just made me an admin on this page, even though I haven't claimed it. So I'm going to refresh it and look at this. All of a sudden, it's the new timeline for this page. And as you can see, I'm an admin and I can still, just so you know, go to Edit Page and claim this page. So if you missed that step before, you can always go to Edit Page, Claim This Page right there, even though you're the admin. So even though I am, as I just said, the admin of this page, if I go over to our Stewart's, uh, you know, true page here, the one with um, the one we would want to keep, you know, if we're merging them, and I go to update info and resources, see, I do not have that link here. So basically, Facebook is going to wait to verify that page, and then hopefully you'll get that link there. Okay, so let's say that you've now waited, you know, a week, 10 days, you know, 14 days, Facebook's come back and said, you know, your page is claimed and you still don't have that merge duplicate pages link and everything should be running fine because you've checked everything out. So what do you do? Well, there's two other things you can try. The first thing is to actually just hide that page that you don't want people to see from the public or just go ahead and delete it all together. So let me just show you a quick example of that with Vista Hills, another client of ours. So this is a page that we, um, again, are admins on, are waiting to have it be claimed. So go ahead and go to Edit Page, Update Info, and go to Manage Permissions here. And here, do you see this page visibility here? You can actually check that box and unpublish the page, and that way it will disappear from um, search results and only admins will be able to see that page. So this is a way for you to basically just say, you know what, we don't want the public to see it, we still want the page uh, to see if it's going to end up getting that merge duplicate pages uh, link. Because for example, we have a lot of check-ins or we have a lot of likes on this page and we don't want to um, you know, just completely zap those away um, by deleting it, and that would be the other option. It's just if you don't have any likes or any check-ins that you care about, 
go ahead and just delete this page altogether, and then you don't have to worry about it. It's gone from Facebook. So that's you know the first thing you can do if you're not seeing that link and you still want to get rid of that page. The second thing you can do is actually report a duplicate page. But in order to do that, you're going to need to um, not be an admin on that page because if you're an admin on that page, you can't report your own page as a duplicate. So basically, just have a friend or a colleague or somebody else go to the page that you want to report as duplicate. And I'm just going to go to another uh, winery's page that we are not the admins on. Sokol Glosser here. And go ahead and leave that page, that's fine. And so have that friend or just log in to somebody else on Facebook. Uh, go to the page that you basically want to get rid of and use the little drop down here and go to report page. And then say tell Facebook that it's a duplicate of another place. And basically then you type in the, the name and you're going to get some drop downs here. So you can say, you know, hey, this page is a duplicate of this page, and Facebook will start to process that, and that's another way that you can basically try to trigger that, uh, you know, merge duplicate page link to appear. So those are pretty much your options if things don't go right. The first thing is obviously to claim any page that you want to merge, and you're going to have to wait about a week for that to actually happen. And after that, if you're still not getting that merge duplicate pages link, then you do have those other two options I just showed you. And one is to go ahead and either unpublish the page so people can't see it, or just delete it altogether, just zap it off Facebook, or do what I just showed you and uh, report the page as a duplicate of another place. And those are, again, two other ways that you can hopefully trigger that link to appear. I sure hope that you enjoyed this video and that it taught you what you need to do exactly in both the you know, best case scenario and worst case scenario as far as merging duplicate pages go. Uh, please visit us at our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash webmarketinghero, and give us a like so that way you can keep up to date on all the great information that we're sharing. Have a great day!